This is the Karcher K2. Uh, honestly, no complaints, but we're gonna make a little video of using this thing, uh, just general stuff around the house, like we'll pressure wash the concrete, the yard's a little bit of a mess at the moment, but we don't need to worry about that. I'm gonna go wash my Subaru as well, because that thing is a mess to help us with that. We'll get ourselves our little snow gun as well. It came with this brush, never used it. I quite enjoy watching pressure washing videos, particularly, particularly, on the cars with these snow cannons. Oh, so good. I'll probably chuck up the dimensions for the square on the screen. There's someone out there who cares about all the sciencey stuff. I don't really care, but if it helps someone else out by me putting it up there, just a standard hose connector goes on the back of the thing. Well, and that should be a week free through there. That snaps off, that comes out. You do need to push it in uh, pretty hard to get it all the way in, but whoa, once we get it in, twist and go. Oh, water's coming out. Turn it on, let it prime. There we go. We've got ourselves some pressure. Dun 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 dun. dun. Stopwatch. Reset. And off we go. Obviously the more time you spend in an area, the cleaner it's going to get. We're not looking to go super clean, more just like a... We had 10 minutes and 45 seconds to do and a slight interruption which I paused the clock for. You can sort of tell this doesn't quite have the power to kind of like move this stuff immediately because it is one of the not as powerful pressure washers because um, I really had to like work in these areas so you can kind of see the edges here where there's still a bit of that mold on the ground but I guess that's trade-off if you're kind of like wanting to save a bit more money or if you got a stronger pressure washer, you'd get that cleaner faster and that way you use less water in the long run. But we'll try a quick wash down on the car. That way you can see the foaminess of the snow gun because that's always the best part. And socks and shoes are drenched.
I did all that work for this thing to get cleaned and it's been crapped on overnight. And we've already got a little spider web forming down here as well and more crap. That's why half the time I don't even bother trying to... How the heck have I got it? There's a whole big old spider web going on here as well. But in terms of the pressure washer, in my strong professional opinion of all of the one pressure washer I've actually used, uh, honestly, no complaints. And I've had the thing for quite a few years. It's never let me down. I've never had any issues with it. The only part I ha have had like a problem with is the actual snow cannon. Just because when you kind of have the soap going through it and then you leave it sitting for a little bit and don't clean it out, that snow can kind of like gum up inside the gun. And then I was getting like this really weird like pulsing, uh, like this pulsing action. This pulsing action. Just some really hot water, let it soak in there for a little bit. And then I got a cup of like boiling water from a kettle and then I just kind of like connected it all together, sprayed it through the hose and that hot water eventually kind of like started cycling through, moving out all that gum, cleaned it out and it works. There's a little lizard sitting in my shed. Uh, that hot water kind of like dislodged all of the gummy stuff that was jamming it up and it now flows freely again. So no issues there, you just could actually kind of like look after your stuff, imagine. In terms of pavement cleaning, you're gonna you're gonna need some time if you want to do a whole driveway big oil spill here it didn't really do too much to it but i feel like that's also something you need some chemicals to remove as well but the big difference is when we go and look at this pavement compared to this one so for 10 minutes of work to do this size pavement and it's not too bad considering we weren't really doing like a full kind of deep clean on it i'm sure if you spent like a bit more time and really made sure all the dirt was moved it would be also a lot cleaner but water usage you know 